friends, my name is Miss Stacia. Welcome to Virtual Storytime. Today, we have got three stories about friends who are a little bit different, who like to dress a little bit different, who maybe think a little bit different, but they're all fun. One of them is an egg, <laughs> one of them is a naked mole rat, and then one of them's a human named Bert. So, Let's get ready. Let's start story time. I hope you're excited about today's stories. Ooh, let me show you my ukulele. I got a new one. There it is. I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. In the virtual story time. All right, so if you're new here, we have a little a little bop we like to do is put your hands ready and start tapping your legs and clap. Keep going. Do you know what it is? I think I do. Boing, boing, squeak. Boing, boing, squeak. There's a story in my house. It's been about a week. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it's been. I don't know. Where did it go? I want to hear it again. I look to my left. I look to my right. I look all around. Oh, it's still out of sight. I look to the ground and over my head. Oh, shh. There's something on my desk. And it's the books I just showed you. All right. So this first one is called The Hueys in the New Sweater by Oliver Jeffers. And he's a real cool guy. One of his stories is my favorite. It's called This Moose Belongs to Me. Check it out if you haven't before. But here we go. The thing about the Hueys was that they were all the same. There were many, many of them. Blue. And they all looked the same. They thought the same and did the same things. Until the day one of them, Rupert was his name, knitted a nice new sweater. He wore it all over the place, proud as could be. Not everyone agreed with his taste, though. In fact, most of the other Hueys were horrified. Rupert stood out like a sore thumb. Didn't he know that the thing about Hueys was that they were all the same? Rupert went to Gilsby. Gilsby thought being different was interesting. He decided to knit him smelt to knit himself a nice new sweater to match. Yay! That way he would be different too. When the other Hueys saw Gilsby beside him, they didn't think that Rupert was so strange anymore. Being different was catching on. And the others wanted to be different, too. One by one, new sweaters started popping up everywhere. Before long, they were all different, and no one was the same anymore. Do you like our new sweater? Then Rupert decided he liked the idea of wearing a hat. And that changed everything. 
<laughs> Look at that. So everybody started being different on their own. Finally. The end. Do you like being different? Do you sometimes wear different clothes than your friends? What's different about me? My name is different. My name is Stacia. Not many people have that name. I have met a few people with that name. But not a lot of people have the name Stacia. What else is different about me? I have my ears pierced. Look at that. I've got three. One, two, three. Then this one. And I've got one right there. Maybe that's different. I have a tattoo. If you want to know what it says, ask me in the comments and I'll tell you. <laughs> All right. Next story. Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. I love this story. It's so silly. I hope you like it as much as I do. Here we go. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. One, they are a little bit rat. Two, they are a little bit mole. Three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, Ew! Yuck! What are you doing? Well, I like clothes, said Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool. Or I can just be an astronaut. When the others heard that, they said, Ugh, yuck! If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. Clothes. The other naked mole rats did not. They brought Wilbur to the giant portrait of Grandpa, the oldest, greatest, and most naked mole rat of ever. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal. But he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. Jeez Louise, they're not the nicest, are they? Well, why not? asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, huh, why not? Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he heard. Then he thought some more. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony! I shall make a proclamation! When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. But he had no idea what to wear. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. But, ugh, maybe not safe enough. See, because he's wearing socks. A little bit different. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, <laughs> Grandpa, fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question, why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, maybe. Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. 
as fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit, and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. One, some of the mole rats were naked. Two, some of the mole rats were clothed. Three, all of the mole rats had a great time. The end. Ah, what's your favorite piece of clothing that you own? A sweater, maybe? A dress? I'm wearing a dress. Your boots? Your fireman helmet? Who knows? What's your favorite? Ugh, oh, sounds great. All right, we're going to sing a song. And all of these people so far in our stories have done what has make, made them happy, right? So let's sing Are You Happy? If you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm probably not. There we go. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job. What's the next thing? We must stomp our feet, maybe. That's a good one. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. sing. Here we go. Wonderful job. Did you sing in that verse that I didn't sing at? Oh, I bet you did. All right, we've got one more story. And it's called My Brother Bert by Ted Hughes. Here we go. Pets are the hobby of my brother Bert. He used to go to school with a mouse in a shirt. His hobby, it grew, as some hobbies will, and grew, and grew, and grew, until... Oh, don't breathe a word. Pretend you haven't heard. A simply appalling thing has occurred. The very thought makes me iller and iller. What do we think's happening here? Oh no, oh nuts, what's happening? Bert's brought home a gigantic gorilla. If you think that's really not such a scare, what if it quarrels with his grizzly bear? You still think you could keep your head? What if the lion from under the bed and the four ostriches that deposit their football eggs in his bedroom closet. And the aardvark out of his bottom drawer. All danced out and joined in the roar. What if the pangolins were to caper out of their nests behind the wallpaper? with the 50 sorts of bats that hang on his hat stand like old hats. And out of a shoebox, that excitable platypus, along with the ocelot or jungle catapus.
the wombat, the dingo, the gecko, the grampus. How they would shake the house with their rumpus. Not to forget the bandicoot, who would certainly peer from his battered old boot. Why, oh, it could be a dreadful day. And what, oh, what would the neighbors say? Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? Can you tell? There's an elephant spraying the neighbor's cat. Holy moly. And that's the end of the story. <gasps> so do you think Bert brought home more and more animals after that? I have not a clue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's all the time we have for story time today, everybody. Thank you so much for your awesome listening skills. This is how I like to say goodbye. Let's put our hands up in the air. Wiggle, wiggle fingers way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all goodbye. I will see you again next time. Goodbye.